Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about differences between centrifugal pump and positive displacement pumps. Let's begin. First aspect is fluid handling. With an increase in the fluid viscosity, the efficiency of centrifugal pump decreases due to the frictional losses. That's why centrifugal pumps are not suitable for highly viscous fluids. With increases in viscosity, the efficiency of positive displacement pump increases. Also, positive displacement pumps can handle liquids with suspended solids and liquid with abrasive particles. Second aspect, pump speed and shearing of liquids. Centrifugal pumps are high speed pumps. It causes shearing of liquids, hence not suitable for sensitive mediums. Positive displacement pumps operate at lower velocity, which causes very little shear. Third aspect, pump performance. In centrifugal pumps, the flow varies with change in pressure. In positive displacement pumps, flow remains constant with changing pressure. For both pumps, flow can be regulated by changing the speed. Fourth aspect, efficiency. Centrifugal pumps perform better in the center of the curve known as best efficiency point BEP. At lower or higher pressure levels, the centrifugal pump efficiency reduces. It is therefore suggested to operate centrifugal pumps within a window of 80 to 110 percent of its BEB for optimum pump performance. When moving far enough to the right or left from the curve center, pump life is reduced due to shaft deflection or increased cavitation. Positive displacement pumps can operate at any point of the curve. The efficiency increases with an increase in pressure. Fifth aspect, priming requirement. Standard centrifugal pump require priming before starting the pump. Positive displacement pumps create a vacuum on the section side so fluid can automatically enter the pump. Positive displacement pumps are called self-primed pumps. Due to the presence of entrapped gases, centrifugal pumps are more susceptible to cavitation as compared to positive displacement pumps. Also, during low flow operations, centrifugal pumps are more prone to overheating. Number seven, series and parallel operation. For series operation in centrifugal pumps, the head created by each pump is added, but for positive displacement pumps in series operation, no advantage is obtained, and hence positive displacement pumps are not run in series. Positive displacement pumps in parallel will provide larger flows as compared to centrifugal pumps as positive displacement pump will inherently compensate for the higher system pressure and in case of centrifugal pumps due to frictional losses, the combined flow is not doubled. Number eight, cost. The operational and maintenance cost of a positive displacement pump is normally lower than the centrifugal pump. The initial cost can be more or equivalent to the centrifugal pump depending on the positive displacement pump type. Due to low speed operation, positive displacement pump seals work longer as compared to centrifugal pump seals. Applications The list of the applications for centrifugal pumps are irrigation, municipal water and water supply system, chemical, petrochemical and light fuel transfer station, air conditioners and water circulators, boiler feeds, firefighting, cooling towers. Positive displacement pumps applications include manufacturing facilities to move thick paste and jelly, municipal sewage systems, thick oil processing, and last food processing plants. And here are the main differences between centrifugal pump and positive displacement 
pump listed in this table. First, the efficiency of the centrifugal pump decreases with increasing viscosity. While it is in the positive displacement pump, the efficiency increases with increasing viscosity. Second, efficiency decreases at both higher and lower pressures in the centrifugal pumps. Efficiency increases with increasing pressure in the positive displacement pumps. Flow varies with changing pressure in the centrifugal pumps. Flow insensitive to changing pressure in the positive displacement pumps. Priming is required in the centrifugal pumps. Priming is not required in the positive displacement pumps. Constant flow in the centrifugal and pulsating flow in the positive displacement. Higher velocity in the centrifugal, low internal velocity in the positive displacement. High capacity and low head in the centrifugal, low capacity and high head in the positive displacement. And last, centrifugal action in the centrifugal pumps and rotary reciprocating uh, or diaphragm principle in the positive displacement pumps.